Welcome back to 6 News at 5. Time to take a look at your weather and we're starting off with our totals for today. 58. That was the high of this afternoon and while that doesn't sound much more impressive than what we saw yesterday. It was actually a very comfortable 58 compared to what we saw yesterday because of light winds and because of just a little bit more sunshine than what we got for your Thanksgiving did start off at 36. And like I said, without the cloud cover we had overnight, that could have fallen below freezing for several of us. But we did see things kind of stay a little more tempered because of the overnight cloud cover out there right now. Most of us still in those low to mid 50s, a little bit warmer down in the Brazos Valley where it's still close to 60 degrees. And as we head through the night tonight, things are going to get chilly again. I'm telling you, we're kind of getting into that fall pattern where we start to see some pretty cool and chilly mornings. In fact, a lot of our areas could be close to freezing, especially the further north you get, the closer to I-20 that you get. We could see a lot more of that uh, freezing activity, but as far as what we're seeing across most of central Texas, we should stay in the mid to upper 30s through the overnight period. For tomorrow afternoon, a little bit warmer than it was today, back into the 60s, closer to where we're actually supposed to be for this time of the year. You can see our normal high for this day is 64. Most of us will be in those low to mid 60s through the afternoon. So like I said, pretty typical fall day. Now here's what we're expecting. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds, light wind, so it should be very comfortable. But of course, we all know what tomorrow means for Texas and Texas A&M fans. That's right. It's the renewal of the Lone Star Showdown. This one kicking off tomorrow evening. So keep this in mind. Yes, high for tomorrow up in the uh, low to mid 60s. But by the time we actually get to game time, by the time we get to 630, things are going to be back into those mid and upper 50s. So make sure you take the coat with you if you are heading out to Kyle Field tomorrow evening. And keep in mind that by the time you're driving home from Kyle Field, or walking back as many people do in College Station. Things are going to be back into the mid and upper 40. So it's going to be a pretty chilly night by the time that game is over. As far as the rest of your weekend at a glance again, 64 for tomorrow, starting off in the upper 30s for Sunday. Like I said, this is the pattern we're in. We're still going to be very chilly for your Sunday morning 40, but then actually a little bit warmer Sunday afternoon than the we were for Saturday. Now here's the thing dry through the weekend. I do have some changes in my forecast to talk about though, and we're going to do that right now. So as we head towards Sunday evening, we're watching this cold front. This cold front that you see on your map is not going to be our weather maker. In fact, it's going to kind of dissipate and kind of fall apart before it ever has any impact on us here in central Texas. It's what's behind the cold front I want to talk about. Take a look at this high pressure cell. Now, usually when we talk about high pressure, we're talking about it centering over Texas, bringing us calm conditions, but notice this high is going to slide to the east and with high pressure systems, you get this counter area, this uh, clockwise rotation. That means that we're going to start pulling winds back in from the Gulf. That means more moisture and by the middle of the week, that means the potential for a few chances of rain as we head through next week, which we absolutely do need that drought condition still kind of staying uh, pretty negative for most of us. But again, rain chances for Wednesday lasting a little bit into Thursday as well. So rain chances for next week. That is great news. We're also going to see just a little bit of a warming trend by Monday. We're talking 65, mostly sunny skies, but then by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, multiple days here where we could see some rain. Not going to be huge totals with this rain, but the chances are there. And that little bit of a warming trend does take us back up to about 70 by Thursday. Remember, if you want your forecast on your time, you can download our free six plus app that's on Roku, Fire TV and Apple TV as well.